Hello, Salvador, are you talking? I can I, I can only hear you. Me too. Yeah, I can't hear Salvador. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. I've been uh, a little incident with my headset. I don't know what happened, but now it's working. So uh, I started the recording. I will, uh, I'll repeat what I said while I was talking to myself. So thanks for joining everyone. Uh, this is uh, the Andrea community meeting. And uh, today is uh, Tuesday, November the 9th. Or if you live in the US, you're still in the past and it will be Monday, November the 8th for you. And uh, for today, uh, we have a presentation about uh, egress, uh, uh, bandwidth limiting for egress feature. And uh, according to my records, John Long should be presenting this uh, this new feature. I hope that I did not mispronounce your name. And if I did that, I would like to apologize. But say that, I think uh, without much further ado, we can start uh, with this presentation. Hello. Uh, Hi, Jindu. Are you online? Can you hear me? Yes, yes we can. Hello everyone, my name is Wu Zhendong. I'm working at TransWap, which is a big data company in China. Thanks for the chance to introduce the egress queues function. Uh, can I share my screen? Sure, go ahead. As you know, the egress future has many use cases, security, egress packeter, uh, IP auditor, and, and get the external request, client IP, and so on. So this is uh, an egress future architectural diagram when the work node port, uh, when work node uh, port communicate with the external network. The selected workloads packet need to be Redirected to the egress node. It's easy to cause network congestion problem on egress node. So why we need egress? Why egress need queues? Mm. Um, Redirector or selector what? Selected workloads packed to egress node. It's easy to cause network congestion problem on egress node. And some workloads take up a lot of egress bandwidth affecting important workloads communication. Affect the ports on egress node communication with other nodes. So we add egress bandwidth limiter function. We, um, we add an optional bandwidth field to the egress CRD to save um, bandwidth configure. And the selected workloads of the egress share one meter, room, meter rule. We don't need to add a new pipeline for this, just reuse the egress SNET pipeline. And uh, so we can implement, implement Bandwidth limiter or PPUS limiter for egress. Uh, this is the, uh, there are the detailed egress bandwidth limiter flows, and uh, this is the PR linker. Mm, let's do a demo. Uh, those egress rules has been added. Mm, 
just uh, to a uh, bandwidth tester by IPOF. Uh, the bandwidth of the port uh, uh, egress traffic uh, has been limited uh, to 10 mega. And uh, we uh, just uh, updated the uh, update to 20 mega. Uh, uh, we will see the um, IPOF connection will not be interrupted. And we also can remove the bandwidth value. The bandwidth will no longer be limited. Uh, more proposals, um, for example, uh, egress guarantee minimum bandwidth, uh, egress supporter multi interface, egress um, supports online network mode. That's all. Thank you. Thanks a lot. It was a, a very nice presentation. Um, is there any question for uh, John Dong? I don't know. Thanks for your great demo. I have a few questions. Uh, to limit the egress traffic, uh, do you set a limit on the source port side or on the egress node side? Uh, uh, source port node. Uh, then how, um, what does this egress bandwidth mean? Uh, does it mean all ports will share this limit? Or, yeah. uh, or, or each of port will have this bandwidth? If you limit the, the bandwidth on the source port side, then how we, how we guarantee that if I have two ports uh, selected by this egress, and uh, uh, the bandwidth is, for example, one megabit. Then how? Uh, then I think each of the port can can use up to one megabit. Is that correct? I, I mean, when the ports running on different node, if we only sh limit the bandwidth on the source. Port side. Uh, yeah. Um, when we configure uh, uh, egress work, um, you, uh, the selected workloads of the egress share uh, one meter on uh, a node. If if the port um, uh, Running if the port run on the different node, they will uh, have when the when the limit is uh, one MB, uh, but the the ports are on different node. Uh, can each of the port have up to one MB? Anyways, or they will share the one and be bytes, please. I, I guess the answer may, might be related to uh, which, which place we enforce the bandwidth limit. Uh, maybe let, let, I could uh, check your code offline to see. Uh, 
I think I read during the presentation that it's in force in the SNAT pipeline. Is that correct? Hi, Chen Dong. So, Sato's question is, well, 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 do you enforce the uh, meta rules of the egress bandwidth limit? It's it in one one uh, it, is it added to the SNAD the, the SNAD table of the pipeline? Right. Uh, uh, my English is not good. Uh, can I speak Chinese? Uh, I, uh, I I guess so. I believe that you know Ch Chan, Chen Jun, Vicky, or anyone else then can help us can help us uh, under uh, you know translate a bit. That that will be fine, I believe. Uh, Chen Dong, I think maybe you can share your PPT again. Uh, I see you have some open flow rules for SNET, right? Maybe you can show the open flow, and maybe you can speak one or two sentences in Chinese quickly. Then I think maybe Chuan can get can get your 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 thought and maybe um, just explain a little bit in English. Okay, thank you. Uh, I, I mean, could you please share your PPT? Uh, I, I remember in your PPT we have some yeah, okay. some logics about the your change on SNET rule, right? Uh, uh, maybe you could uh, uh, switch to the slide that has the uh, open floor rules. I think it's the next one. Right. Uh, the the next the next slide. I just uh, speak uh, Chinese. Uh, okay, go go ahead. Yeah, you you can just to speak you know, a little bit Chinese, maybe. Yeah, Chen can translate a little bit. Uh, when we develop an egress rule, we can, for example, be able to connect to different points on the network. 这时候我们可以看到，就比如说这个有两个 work node pod， 呃，这两个 work node pod 其实其实都相当于在不同的节点上，他们会被呃流量会被重定向到这个 egress node 上面。这时候我们会分别在每个节点上都去下发这个 meter rules， 去限制这个节点上的一些规呃带宽带宽的一些限制。Chen, can you translate? Yeah, just uh, based on his description. Sure, sure. sure. Uh, I think Zhendong means that uh, uh, when we enforce the bandwidth limit, uh, we do enforce th them on the source port side. Uh, but uh, my question is, how we guarantee that um, uh, if ports are running on different nodes, uh, they they will not exceed the bandwidth uh, in total. Zhen Dong, uh, that how to guarantee that the different points on the pod, that they all, 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 嗯，如果在这边限制的话，嗯，之前我也考虑过直接在 egress node 上进行做一个带宽限制，这样的话可能会导致就是，嗯，这边的包很多的就会被发过来，然后在这边被丢弃。哦，好的，谢谢。呃，因为当前我们还不支持，比如说 DSCP 这种方式，但是这时候限速的话，其实，嗯， meter 里面的限速实现可能是它会直接把这个包给丢弃掉，但是这样的话。可能会导致这边的，就是发了很多，这边收到的话，可能，比如如果是 UDP 等等的这样的包，这边可能会在 Egress Node 上面会被丢弃很多。那那在原节点上去 drop 不会有这个问题吗？呃，这样的话就会，它也就不会导致这个 Egress Node 上面有很多的这样的一个报文接收。哦，好的，那我先翻译一下，呃。I think Zhendong means that uh, we only enforce the uh, 
bandwidth limit on the source node side, but not on the egress node side. But the reason is, uh, uh, if we enforce on both sides, uh, the packet, the outbounding packet could be sent out to egress node, but dropped there and uh, affect some application communication communication, especially for UDP protocols. Yeah. So that uh, there will there will be a problem if uh, that uh, the, the egress bandwidth can actually the, the ports can actually the total bandwidth of the selected workloads can actually exceed the limit, I think. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, so thanks for the clarification. I I mean <laughs> is there I mean does anyone has uh, any question regarding this uh, observation that has been made by Chan? Okay, so I mean, we are twenty, but I have to ask it in English because that's as far as I can go with Chinese. Uh, this, in terms of specification, uh, the bandwidth that we are specifying is it like a global applied to the overall deployment, or do it apply, uh, or does it apply to every node? Like you know, if we specify twenty megabit, for instance. This means that we are supposed to have 20 megabits on every single egress node. Uh, that's something that uh, it was not clear to me. Uh, I think maybe I can ask this uh, answer this one because my question was uh, similar to this one, mm -hmm. and uh, the answer I got from Zhengdong is, uh, uh, yeah, as you you said, uh, each node will have. Uh, the same bandwidth limit, but uh, in total, they can exceed the, uh, the bandwidth, yeah. Okay. Uh, Chen, I, I don't understand this. Um, I think the, the band, bandwidth limit is on the egress CR, right? Uh, yes. And for, for a single egress CR, we only allocate one egress IP, and that egress IP will be assigned to only a single egress node. Yeah. So if we enforce the limit on the egress node, what's the issue? Why why you think the overall bandwidth can exceed the limit? Uh, according to Zheng Dong, uh, he thinks that uh, if we if uh, if we don't drop the packet on the source side, but on the egress node side, then some application may be affected, especially for UDP protocols. I guess he means that. Uh, uh, the bandwidth, the internal bandwidth will be wasted, maybe, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure whether this will have real, real impact on the application themselves. Do, do you think so? Do you think it's okay to just uh, allow the traffic, all traffic to egress node, but uh, your packets there? Or maybe we okay. could enforce twice on source side. It could the 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 same meta rule could be enforced to guarantee that uh, at least uh, uh, no uh, to to at least uh, reduce the traffic a little. Then on the destination side, uh, we do a centralized uh, limit. Okay, I think I got what I mean. Uh, I think Orange, I misunderstood here. I thought we uh, enforce the limit on the egress node. Yeah, I, I got you guys mean uh, you actually we are in, uh, enforcing the limit on the source. Then I, I didn't think so. Uh, so I, I probably need to think more here.
but do you think ideally we should enforce the bandwidth control on the egress node instead of um, different um, or multiple source source node? Yeah, I think from the perspective of the spec, because we say that uh, the bandwidth will be shared by all workloads. Yeah. And then maybe it does not make a lot of sense if the total bandwidth could limit the... Mm, yes. Sounds like in the cluster, we have 100 work nodes and each work node maybe have two megabits mm, yeah, bandwidth. So if they, we, we, we just uh, control them per different work node, it means we need to maybe two megabits plus uh, with uh, 100 times, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To totally, yeah, totally. Yeah. I think either this is a purport limit or it's a limit to all ports, but it should be not a, a per node limit because mm. it will not be deterministic. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could revisit the the, the pipeline or the spec to... so so minor whether the the patch is still uh under review right or has been yeah yeah, yeah. it's oh, uh it's PR under review yeah maybe we can just uh, discuss some um, yeah further discussion about the final solution yeah makes sense to me mm -hmm. i agree All right, I will uh, just wait a few seconds in case there is a, any other community question for uh, related to this uh, egress uh, QS feature. Perfect. It seems that uh, we can probably move to the next topic. I would uh, like to uh, uh, thank very much John Long for this presentation, and most importantly for uh, contributing uh, this feature for Andrea. As uh, agreed during this meeting, we will continue discussion on the implementation of this feature on the PR that has been pushed by John Long and uh, we will probably continue discussion there. So thanks again, John Long, and uh, I believe we can move to the next topic, which is uh, open discussion, since uh, to the best of my knowledge, we don't have uh, any other presentation booked for today. Okay, so I would like to ask uh, everyone from the community here, from the attendees, is there any other topic that you would like to bring up for today? And uh, the silence likely means that we don't have any other topic. So before concluding this meeting, I would just like to uh, congratulate the team for putting out the 1.4 release, which has been published uh, uh, last week. It was a, you know, a great milestone, another yet great milestone uh, in, uh, in for Antria. And uh, looking forward to many great new features that will be added to the 1.5 release. Thank you. Thank you, sex team. All righty. So I guess that this could be all for today. This is your last chance to speak if you want to bring up another topic. Otherwise, I'm going to stop the recording in 10 seconds.
Perfect. I guess that is all for today. So thanks anyone, everyone for joining. Thanks again, John Dong, for bringing up this topic to uh, discussing this topic today with us. And I wish everyone a good afternoon, a good morning or a good evening. Thanks again and uh, see you in two weeks time. See you.